Part three, Texans playbook here. I will move into some shotgun plays. I like a couple plays out of this formation here. Gun split Texan. I don't know the name of it outside of this, but so a few good plays here. I like the sot seam. A lot of good things happen here. Let's do random nickel. Because against man, the Dorwitz on that route can get open nine times out of ten. And if they do a cover three, which looks like what they're doing here, Miller should be open in that seam. And uh, how I like to use this is Miller's going to take coverage up. Fedora, which is going to take the coverage down, which leaves that middle of the field open for Fuller. It doesn't work that way all the time, obviously, but it, it's what I'm looking for. Hopefully, this Fuller will be there. But anyway, I'm going to block Miller because it looks like some kind of blitz going on here. Miller's more of a dump off guy. Let's see here what I'm looking for. It's actually manned up. And he actually covered that pretty well. Still made the play. He takes the coverage up. It doesn't. I was just watching the coverage go with uh, Miller and Fedorowitz, seeing if Fuller would get open there, but they seem to play pretty discipline on that one. See him open on the cover three. The only thing is, is Braxton, he drops a lot of passes on just mild contact. See, man, this that play gets open all the time. Just now and then, some people are just really good at covering. And on this zone, I like it because you get two quick reads in one spot. You got Miller and Fedorowicz, which are my two main reads, right off the bat. Like, this looks like it's manned up. Let's see how the safeties are down like that. Maybe some kind of blitz. So, aw, uh, he got jacked up in the line. Probably sure that Hopkins was wide. The button hook beats man coverage pretty good. But I was looking for Fedorowicz. And he just got stuck in the line. That's something like he did that weird play that time. He did his route outside of the tackle. I guess that's what's going to happen with a blitz sometimes. Alright, I'm going to run this just another time. I am not going to end it like that. I thought I had it. I saw that blitz. I thought I had him. I was throwing the Hopkins, but I got decked. Shit. Figured one of the guys would come down after Fedorowicz. Sometimes I anticipate. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to end it like that. Nice play here. That's just one of the plays I like out of this. You can get usually some quick yards out of it. You can also take Lamar Miller, put him on an out route, or block him to help out on the play. It's a nice little play to use out of the gun split Texan. Another play I like is I like this halfback circle but I like the slot cross. Let's do a random nickel. Cause see Miller's route in red he takes a lot of the coverage with him at times so that Fuller can get open behind him. Cause even the user will chase Miller and then you can hit Fuller quick on his cut. Especially since if it's a zone that corner, the slot corner on Miller, he'll follow Miller and then he'll jump over to Fedorowicz and the linebacker will follow Miller and it'll leave a huge area for Fuller as long as the safety doesn't come down but uh, you got three guys that you can read real quick if you see Hopkins one on one or you like what you see over there it's always good if you have somebody like Hopkins, Julio Jones or something that you want to throw up to but he's mainly a distraction on this play and I'll show you here real quick. Nobody covered him. Picked up just maybe four yards on that one. But doesn't always you see that nobody over there. For some reason, the linebacker went with Fedorowicz with the slot corner. 
And this time nobody was with Miller. You just gotta go through your progressions here. Like right here, it's gonna be probably double team on Hawkins over on that side. So it's like I'm not really looking that way. Unless I see that safety drop, I might. But I'm looking. Whoa. I saw how the coverage went with Miller. So if I see the coverage go with Miller, I look to Fuller because he's going to come up behind Miller. But if the coverage sticks with Fuller, then I dropped it for Dorowitz. So I got my progression here. And the safeties are in a weird alignment. One of them is probably coming down, probably cover three of some kind. And uh, I might throw to Hopkins on something like that, just depending on how I feel. Just throwing it up. Let's see, I go Miller, and he's open. I'll try to call out when I'm going through my progressions here. I got Miller again. Easy open. They're not really following him or anything. So Miller again. They're just not covering him. If you keep doing that, eventually they're going to. So Miller, and then they covered him. Fuller was my second read. Just wish he would catch you better. Full so Miller. Like when I go through my plays, I like to have my two reads and my dump off. That's generally what I look for. My two reads and dump off. So it's like Miller, and they don't want to really cover him. Like I probably could have thrown up the Hopkins on that play too. Like here I could probably do it, but I go through my my reads disciplinedly to show you how it works. I want them to cover Miller. Like there you go, and then I throw underneath the Fuller if they got. Miller. And now I'd like to show you if they cover both of them, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Oh shit. Bamboo. Just do some possession catching with guys like him. So it goes Miller, Fuller, and then Fedora Wits. And it's real quick, one side of the screen. And you can even pay attention to the, the safeties there. You see how they have all that covered? And I went to my third read, which was Fedora Woods. Because they had Miller covered. And then they had the spot covered for Fuller where he was open. So it was like, just quickly dump off to Fedora Woods before the corner comes after him. And I see a cover three, probably Blitz here. So I might just take a risk, a risk and throw it up high. And I came down with it. So you can still do that if you got a stud receiver on your team. So Miller. Oh, and I didn't want to throw to Miller. Should have been for Dorowitz. So it's Miller. And see, go through my progressions. And you're bound to get somebody open. If by for Dorowitz no one's open, I'm throwing it. Or I'm running it. I mean, by throwing it, I mean I'm throwing it away. So it's like Miller, Fuller, for Dorowitz. Oh shit. Yeah, get down. Miller, Fuller. Ah. So I really like this play. It's like a pretty good third down play. Cause I'm bound to get somebody open. I think it's third and five or something. Or I just want to take a risk. Get a touchdown. One on one with Hopkins. I'll take you that now and then. Depending on how well the user's playing. Damn, I didn't throw that quick enough. Threw it soft. See, that's why I do a bullet when it comes to him. Should have thrown that to Miller. They bumped Fuller pretty good. But Miller, first read. Let's go. Let's down. I want to throw it up. Woo! Alright, I'll move on to another formation real quick. Show a couple plays. Another gun formation I like is the doubles. There's a couple plays I like out of this. One I have is an audible already, so I'm going to skip it and jump to the trap here. Zero one trap. Uh, this plays good because I'm usually passing a lot, obviously, out of this shotgun formation. And when you got a lineup like this, with a defensive tackle, is 
over on the right shoulder of your right guard, like he's close to the right tackle, that's the perfect setup because your right guard is going to let him go. He's going to go hit that linebacker, and your left guard is going to hit that defensive tackle. And you're going to quickly try to come over the middle where the center is and judge where the hole is and burst through it. So you, they used to you throwing the ball, you do this, you know, it doesn't always work out the way you hope, but you just boom, sometimes they're just blitzing more for you to block, but generally you want to do it, this formation I notice kills it, if they come out with this with the six men right on the line, it usually kills it, but not this time, still got five yards, this formation against it, it doesn't necessarily work, but it does alright, because that DT is still right on the right guard, like right there, they let him go, and he goes and hits a, he's supposed to hit that middle linebacker there, this is the formation he usually does good, when they just got the six men spread out like that, four men down, two behind, yeah, the safety's there, but I'm not too worried about him, see, I just got stuck on the, the block, in game that usually it doesn't happen. If I see this, I'm not going to run this. I'm going to switch to play up. There's too many people in the box. Look like they're blitzing. I'm not going to be able to do shit. Usually against this formation, I don't get shit. I'm just showing you that I don't get shit. Usually, I get some big gains here. For some reason, I had no burst. This formation, I get some gains. Oh shit. There's nowhere to go there. Shit, got stuck on my line. Still got over five yards though. This is a formation I usually I can bust some big ones. I keep getting bumped by the left guard though. Makes it so I can't accelerate. Because for some reason, if you notice, he's like leaning towards his right. Like he wants to go into that left guard for some reason. You have to redirect him after that. So if that guy above the right guard gets in real fast, he can still fuck up the play. You need a left guard who got some speed and acceleration to be able to hit him so you can make a decision. Because it's like you automatically start to lean that way. Which is annoying as fuck. I usually don't have that much trouble dodging him though. Like usually it's like... He's hit closer to the line, like you see there. But on a lot of these, he's getting some penetration. But usually this works. They're not expecting a run. You just throw that in, because you don't usually have the trap play in a shotgun formation. The other play I like is this strong flood. This is what it looks like here. What I do is I put Fedorowicz on a streak. Lamar Miller on an out. If I have time, I'm going to put Fuller on one of these. It's Hot Route L2. I can't remember the name of it. Let me hit it to tell you what it is. It's just a comeback. And what I'll do is I'll motion Hopkins. How I have this set up is designed to take the linebackers to chase after Fedorowicz and Miller. And maybe even drop off in to go after Hopkins too. And it's basically designed to either hit Braxton Miller, and if he's covered, I'm looking for Fuller, and then I'll dump off to Lamar Miller. If it's a cover three, I'm looking for Fedorowicz first, and then I'll dump off to Lamar Miller or Braxton Miller. Because right in that little spot on the cover three, and sometimes other plays, Fedorowicz, if you throw a hold L1 and throw a high pass, you can throw right over a linebacker, get an easy play. You see how they usually go back? That was just a horrible pass. Shit, I didn't do my uh, changes. Alright, let me audible to my play. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. And Miller's open. A lot of times if it's a zone, you can get a lot of the people pushed back. 
because they're going after the deeper routes. Oh crap. I gotta forgot the audible to the play. There we go. What the hell? Well let me hot route. There we go. So my main look I like I said, Braxton. And then Lamar, or Fuller than Lamar. Because by the time I look at Miller and he's not covered, Fuller's about done his route. And if he's covered, it's usually because the guy in that area is underneath him. So that means Miller's open. So that's my progression here. You see how that worked? Just time to, oh, whoops. Just some audible to the play. Make sure I don't mess this up. And so it's good to practice because the more you practice, the faster you set it up. I throw a low pass. See, that's how it works. Like I said how I set up my plays, I got my two main guys, and then I my dump off. And then sometimes it changes like. This play is probably not for Dorowitz, but there's signs where they cover three, and they're covering underneath. I can hit for Dorowitz over a linebacker, like right here. Oh, I threw that a little too soft, but you see how I threw high to give an example. Whoops! Like right here, perfect. Let me get out of this. You can also leave Fuller on the route. Because on a cover three like this, he can get open. But I notice on cover three, I can get Dorowitz. Which he's not on this one. But he drew the coverage enough to get 15 yards roughly with Miller. But yeah. Basically, I want to design it to take the coverage away from Miller. Because he can't catch with a lot of people around him, but he gets some moves after the catch. So I go look for him here. And see how and I can make slippery moves with him. He gets like a 92, 95 spin move. So you gotta, you gotta make plays for your playmakers. And then uh, I'll go through some other plays here. I like dagger plays. They work pretty good because they do the same concept. They get them backpedaling. You have the slot guy there running the streak. He gets the coverage to go deep, and then your outside guy cuts underneath him. It's the same simple concept of drawing the coverage. Um, quick outs. It's always been pretty good. I was working with the Texans out and up, but that's very, very situational. Um, the corner strike... Oh, everybody knows that route. You can use that play. Everybody likes using that one. But the shallow cross. This one is good. Because it's the same thing. You see where the coverage is going. Is it going to go after Braxton? Is it going to go after Fedorowicz? Because right here, my read is a something like cover three or cover one. So Hopkins should get open in that little spot before the safety. And if he's not, I'm going to look for Miller and then for Dorowitz. So my first one is Hopkins, and it was right. He just couldn't hold on to the ball. But you see how, man, he's just playing good. I saw him go after for Dorowitz, which I knew the middle of the field was open for Miller. So that's what I was looking for there. Looks like no safety, so I'm just going to... Go for Hopkins, because corner routes and post routes, pretty good at beating man. Let's slide the protection. And only a single safety. Doing freaking possession catch. I want him to get down. I go in after Fedorowicz, so then I hit Miller. You just gotta, you can't be focused on one guy. You might have your first read, you gotta drop to your next read. 
Like, a play like this, one safety back, definitely Hopkins on the first read. Then I'm going to look to the middle of the field to see if they're covering low for Fedoritz or over the middle for Miller. And then I'll go from there. So, first is wide open. Buddy, whoa, just do the possession catch. Oh, safeties are a little low. Guess some kind of blitz or something. Might have to dump it off quick to for Dorowitz on this one. But if I got time, Hawkins should get it. Nope, they're dropping back. But nobody's over the middle of the field. That quick in beats man. Nine out of ten times. Got the cover. Oh. That tricked me a bit. That slot guy went deep. Right in the hole the Hopkins would have been. That's where I was looking. Like right there. He just kept going deep last play. Why can't I get the possession gitch? Just catch it, get down. And they cover in the middle of the field a little bit. So we'll go with Fedorowicz. I'm not going to try to keep going Hopkins. But like here where there's two safeties, Hopkins is not. I'm going to look for the middle of the field. Okay, and I'm not seeing anything I like. I'm holding X and he's doing spectacular shit. Alright, I'm running this one more time and I'm calling this this video quits here. Okay, I'm not ending with that. No way. No way. Alright. Holding X. And a what? What? Alright. Linebacker covered down there. We stump off to the beast. I want something a little better than that. I'm gonna get that right here. There you go. God, it got down. 20 plus yards. Just gotta practice that. Catching traffic. For some reason, it's like I don't do it fast enough or something. But anyway. That is that. Uh, I might do a part four later. I'm going to call it quits for now. But anyway, thanks for watching and take care.